Hey guys, I am on my way to actually sign up at another gym. <laughs> so I had to join uh, the Las Vegas Athletic Club, LVAC here. That's where my trainer is. That's where I'll be training with him. However, that gym is a rock solid 30 minute drive from my house. So it's an hour just to drive there and back. And it's just a lot of time and also the route that I take is very prone to delays because of traffic and construction and all sorts of stuff. So 30 minutes kind of on a, on a good day. So I decided, you know, the gym memberships here are so inexpensive. And of course I'm comparing it to New York, which is, you know, kind of comparing apples to oranges. But in New York, a monthly gym membership very easily could be like a hundred bucks. I do know they have like cheaper options, but I would say when I was there, mid-level, it was like $100. My LVAC membership is $15 a month. And then I just called the gym that is right in my neighborhood. It's actually right by the UPS door, so I could do a bunch of errands while I'm there. Um, I just called, and their cheapest membership is $10 a month. And I'm like, okay, $25 a month, and I could be a member at two gyms. You know, it's not necessary, and of course it adds up month after month, but it just it's gonna save me so much time to work out at the gym here closer to my house so that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to sign up and then do this arm routine I tried to do the arm routine at, at home just now um, and this is what made me really decide I'm like okay I just need to go to a gym there's just these um, there are these exercises that of course you can substitute with dumbbells like if you're using a bar or something but there are other like exercises off of you know the machine with the cables and stuff that I can't really I can't really like you know so I'm sure there's some <laughs> creative substitution with dumbbells but you know my gym isn't built out at all I just have the treadmill the rowing machine I have like a plastic bench and then some free weights so anyway I was like you know what let me just sign up at this gym go there um, and work that into my routine so that's what we're doing right now. Hello! I just finished filming and editing and uploading the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Eyeshadow Palette video. Wow, I can't talk. This palette is so gorgeous. Look at these shades. Look at them. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I cannot wait to play around with more of the shades. So anyway, I just had dinner and now I'm sitting down to play some Mario Kart. We haven't played our Nintendo Switch since we moved here. So there was a lot of like charging up, finding SD cards, all that sort of thing to play. So now I'm gonna play. <laughs> and we just watched the Super Mario Brothers movie last night, which is probably what inspired us to do this. Um, the new one, the one with Chris Pratt as Mario. It was very cute, very cute. Anyway, I'm gonna play. I'm terrible at this. I used to be pretty good at video games, but you know, the older I get, the worse I get with all of this stuff. I always play a shy guy. I don't know why. I don't even know what that character is about. I think he's a bad guy. Well, you guys could see clear as day I was terrible if the goal was to drive between the coins and the boxes I would have won but I need to figure out how to like play this game like better I don't I don't know what all the buttons do I don't know how to defend myself <laughs> I'm terrible I'm terrible anyway that's what I'm doing this evening I'm just gonna be playing Super Mario Kart yay good morning back in the car I'm like so excited to have <laughs> the dash cam back. Anyway, I'm on my way to Pilates. I worked out with my trainer yesterday. I think I mentioned I did back. And then <laughs> today I'm doing Pilates. Tomorrow I'm doing legs with my trainer. And then I am off to New York after that. So after Pilates, I have to do a couple of errands. I, what time is it? Maybe I can go now actually. I need to get gas. Ugh, you know, when I had the rental car, 
I just didn't want to drive it that much. It's a car I wasn't comfortable with, not comfortable, I wasn't used to it, and you know, it's a rental car, so I was like, whatever, I just, <laughs> basically, if I had the option to drive my husband's car, I did that, and my husband has an electric car, so I didn't really have to think about gas too much. I probably filled up my rental car, and I had it for three months. I probably filled up that rental car like twice, so <laughs> that tells you how often I drove it. I've completely fallen out of the habit of having to get gas, but I think I have left early enough. I have, yeah, so I'm going to go get gas now before the lines are too long at Costco. Our Costco, our recent Costco here, just expanded the gas pumps. They added like another couple of lanes and then like made them even longer and it's still crowded and then afterwards I have to go to Whole Foods um, I mentioned this before but the Whole Foods is very close to my Pilates studio it's like in the same little shopping area so it's just very convenient I just go after my um, session and I just can't I, I'm like I feel like I just bought a bunch of chicken breast so the three meats that I'm able to eat so far on this nutritional plan that my trainer's given me is chicken breast, salmon, and white fish. Like flaky, low-fat white fish. So I think I've eaten more chicken breast in the last two weeks, week and a half, than I have in the past like 30 years of my life. I don't like chicken. I especially don't like chicken breasts. It is my least favorite thing in the entire world. And I've just been choking it down. <laughs> just choking it down. I had found a way to make chicken breast so that it's like juicy and all of that, but I can't really do that on his nutrition plan because it takes, <laughs> takes too much oil. <laughs> and a little bit of butter and all that stuff so um anyway yep just uh accepting the nutrition plan as is for now i know my friend that has uh worked with him for like a year and a half more than a year and a half now and uh is the one that referred me to him she she eats like red meat she eats like steak now just occasionally you know small portion or whatever and I'm like when does that day come <laughs> but maybe when I start to see like a few results lose some poundage lose some weight or whatever um, maybe then I can have a little bit of red meat but yeah it's pretty strict right now and it's fine I feel like I needed this reset anyway so it's good it's good and I'm definitely eating in a way I don't remember ever eating this way before like not only the foods but he's very specific about when I'm eating like what I'm eating and when I'm eating it um, and it's all kind of surrounding like my activity so I'm like that's pretty cool that's like a level that I knew existed but that I never practiced so after Whole Foods I have to go to FedEx to drop off something and then I have to go to Walgreens to pick up a FedEx package that was dropped off there for me. So I ordered a couple things off of Zara. And they had this option where I could ship it to like a FedEx location instead of my house. And the FedEx location like delivery date was like three days before the delivery date to my house. I don't know how accurate that is, but I was like, you know what? I'm leaving soon to go to New York. So I don't want to risk it. I want to get it beforehand in case I need to return it or whatever. So yeah, I had it delivered to yeah this the, the Walgreens near my house. So anyway, I have to make two FedEx drops because the box that I'm dropping off at FedEx has to actually go to a FedEx location and not a Walgreens. So anyway, <laughs> those are my errands for this morning. And then this afternoon, I'm meeting my friend Marie. Uh, we're gonna go to Prada because the fall collection has come in and I really am interested in a few things. Okay, I'm at the gas pump. I'm gonna get some gas now. Okay, Shantae is full and I can't tell you how civilized the Costco gas pumps are at 6.30 in the morning. 
So much better than like a Saturday afternoon. Okay, off to Pilates. Errand one done. Okay, second errand done. Okay, third and final errand done. Okay, I was just talking for like 10 minutes and my microphone was not on. Yes, off to a good start. Anyway, I was kind of rambling because I just got out of the shower and I was using my Nira and we're not ready for like a full update because we're not nearly at the 90 day mark. But I did want to tell you that what I noticed, I mean, I'm sure you guys have noticed, I've got these big sunspots here and then I've got this one right in the corner of my eye, which I feel like I've never been able to fully address because it's so close to my eye and most devices or you know when I go and get a treatment or what not that I've gotten a ton of facials or whatever they kind of stay away from the eye area is my point it's always like a safer use but stay away from like the eye area this is safe for use around the eye area so I've been zapping this guy and it really looks like you guys probably can't tell but like close up I can see the pigmentation there kind of like breaking up and I'm very excited I do think this is going to be considerably considerably lighter uh, by the time I do my 90 day check in these, you know, it's the summertime and I feel like the sun has been so strong and I've actually been out in the sun. Like when I went to Rhode Island for that wedding, we were out in the sun like all day. I had my SPF on, but it's not foolproof. Um, so anyway, we'll have to see if those, uh, kind of lighten in tone. Other than that, I feel like the skin under my eyes, has been um, smoothed. I'll have to do before and after pics just to be sure. Um, but yeah, they definitely feel, they definitely look, I don't wanna say they feel, cause they feel the same, but they look a little bit smoother. So I'm excited. I'm excited to keep using this. So that was just a quick update there. And then I was just rambling about, because I saw my camera. <laughs> in the background there. Um, and I feel like whenever my camera's in my bathroom or my bedroom, I, it's very like kinky. I don't know. <laughs> like I'm not doing anything like weird, like only fans or anything with my camera. I was just taking a picture of me applying perfume for my latest blog post. And it was just about like my top five perfumes for this fall transition season. You guys know how seasonal I am with my fragrances. And oh, actually it's right here the Tom Ford Ebene Fume. I really like this. You know, when it comes to Tom Ford fragrances, they're very hit or miss for me. And I don't really like most of them. They're either too strong or I feel like uh, his like Soleil line, which should be really like up my alley. You guys know I love like a fresh citrusy, like white floral kind of fragrance. But there's always a note in there that I'm like, I don't wanna say ruins it, but just, kind of removes it from like the fresh category. So anyway, I don't really like, or I shouldn't say that. I, I like the Soleil Blanc, that's probably my favorite, but I'm not in love with any of the other Soleil ones. So long story short, I really like this Tom Ford fragrance. And I feel like when it comes to Tom Ford fragrances, if I like them, I really, really like them. And then all the other ones I'm like, not that great. If you haven't seen that blog post and you're interested, it is there for your viewing. And also, if you are interested in my blog post, because I'm doing a lot of uh, content over there that I'm not doing over here on YouTube, sign up for my newsletter, because then you'll be informed when I have a new um, blog post up. And I'm also trying to beef up my newsletter too. I've really, up until this point, like solely been using it to announce new blog posts and because I just haven't given it that much thought. But the more I think about it, the more I'm like, I'm really wasting this like, you know, avenue of communication with you guys. And um, yeah, I would really like to utilize it more because, you know, even if you watch every single one of my videos or whatever, there is sure to be stuff that you miss. Um, for example, just the other vlog that I posted, someone commented, it was like my last vlog or the vlog before, someone commented that they were like, oh, I must have missed something. What happened to your car? And I feel like I've been talking about my car like nonstop. But I'm like, okay, this person must just not have seen those vlogs or, you know, just spaced out. You know, I was on in the background or whatever. I mean, totally understandable. It's not like, how did you miss that? I talked about it. That, that's not what I mean. I just mean like, of course, like you're gonna miss some stuff. So anyway, I wanna use a newsletter um, as like another kind of form of communication for you guys. So anyway, sign up if you're interested, um, but I'm gonna get ready for the rest of my day. I'm gonna try on this um, 
Zara skirt and blazer for you guys. The blazer's too big, but I'm gonna put it on for you guys. The skirt I have not tried on yet, but I'm very, very excited. Okay, here is the skirt that I got from Zara and hopefully this is big enough, I'm not sure. And I'm, I apologize because I bet this is sold out. <laughs> I have two gripes with Zara. One, every time I buy something and I'm like, oh, let me share it with, with my folks, with my friends, it's, it's sold out. It's like not even on the site anymore. And the other thing that I don't like, I actually don't like the layout of their website. Like you go in there and it's like you're flipping through an editorial magazine and I'm like, what am I looking at? <laughs> Is it the blazer, the socks? Like what, what exactly am I looking at? Like, I just wish it was just kind of like, you know, like normal, like a traditional kind of um, online shopping site. But let me try this on and see what happens. Okay, bad start, I can't even unzip this. Hold on. It has a side zip here and I think it's caught on the fabric. <gasps> I literally cannot unzip this. Okay, there was like one of these little paillettes that was like stuck in there, but because they're clear, it's hard to see. And I'm just running into that problem just unzipping, see there's another one that's like in, in the way of the zipper. Can you, can you even see that? It's a little guy right here. So I have to move it aside. I feel like maybe they should have just put an elastic waist on this guy and then you just pull it up and you wouldn't have to zip it on or off. Okay, I think, I think that's it. There's like so much more zipper, but this mesh overlay just stops on top, okay. <laughs> Now, I don't know if this is the most flattering thing in the entire world, um, but I just think it's, yeah, I just think it's really cool. I don't know, it does fit me. Let's, let me tuck this shirt in and it'll put on these Prada mules just to fully try it on, what do we think? Yeah, I'm a little bit afraid too, this mini, Skirt lining keeps riding up. Like every time I walk, it gets higher and higher. <laughs> Danger zone. Oh, this skirt has a side slit over here. So that makes it easy to walk. Hold on. Let me see if I can pull down this mini skirt a little bit more. There. I think it's cute, you know, and it's, it's Zara, so it's not terribly expensive. So I just have to deal with the whole zipper situation, but I think it's okay. I think I'll, I think I'll wear this. I think I'll, yeah, I think I'll go out in this. <laughs> Would I go on this? Yeah, I think I'd go on this. And then they had this basic blazer and I was like, I need a basic blazer. <laughs> I need a basic blazer. So I got size, sorry, let me move my mic. I got size um, extra large. It's too big. It's like way off my shoulder. And you know, the sleeves are always gonna be long, but it's just the shoulder right here. Yeah, it's way too big. So it just, you know, I like oversized clothing as you know, but most blazers are tailored. And so they're, <laughs> they're meant to fit. So anyway, I'm gonna be returning the blazer. All right, so I think I'm gonna keep this skirt and I always see it styled with a sweater of some sort. Why don't I do, why don't I do that? Just to like play around with stuff. Okay, so here it is with the Prada sweater. This may be a little bit too chunky. I can maybe pair it with like the Jenny Kane crew neck, but you get the idea. And I'm like sweating my ass off in this, so I can't keep this on for too long. But yeah, I, I just, I love this look. I love when Prada does this. Exciting. All right. Yay, I'm so glad this skirt fits. So for today, I'm just throwing on this lace panel shirt dress from Kaz that I did like a fashion try-on haul for you guys a while ago, and I kept this one. I brought this to Knoxville, Rhode Island. Um, I didn't wear it actually that much in Rhode Island because you're not supposed to wear white uh, at weddings and stuff. That's just for the bride. So um, I brought it, but I didn't wear it that much, but I did wear it quite a bit in Knoxville and it was perfect. This is like the perfect like summer party dress or just going out for brunch, that whole thing. So, sorry, I'll back up in just a second. I just want to finish buttoning it. 
but it has pockets, which is so great. And I've been wearing it with my white Chanel dad sandals, which I think has worked out really well. And what else? I also feel like you could just throw on a pair of like Burks or even some fun like um, flat type sneakers like Converse or um, like Vans or something. I think that would look kind of cute. It would keep it really uh, casual. So I am gonna go downstairs, film some videos for when I'm away and then we will head off to Prada. So I'm just about to head out to Prada and I realized that I'm going to be there when I am supposed to be eating my three o'clock meal, which is just yogurt and blueberries. So I'm gonna pack it in a thermos container. So I packed it up in the lining of this swell, this swell container that you just throw it in and then you close this up and that should keep it cold for a long while. I'm gonna pack a spoon. This is intense. I'm gonna pack a spoon and then actually, I'm meeting my friend Marie, who's you know the one that got me into all this, and um, I asked her if she wanted me to share my protein powder with her, because I have a whole bunch of bags of these. I was getting them on auto ship from Amazon, and it was coming faster than I was actually drinking it. So anyway, I had an extra bag, um, and she wanted to try it. So I'm gonna bring this in for her. And, oh, I don't know, what do you guys think? This bag, I mean, it's okay. Chanel dad sandals that I'm gonna put on. I have my puzzle bag which maybe the black is a better fit, but I kind of like this style. And I do want to wear this bag more because this is the one that's on loan from Forward this month. And I need to decide, well, what? I need to decide whether or not to keep it. But I also want to give you guys like, you know, kind of like a review on this bag. So far I'm loving it. It's a great size. All right, so I'll go with this bag. Why not? I guess I need another bag for all of this stuff. I'm not going to have this when I leave. However, I'm still gonna have this. I think we're good. Let's head on out. Wow, there was the most intense traffic outside on Las Vegas Boulevard. I felt like I was back in New York City. It took about 30 minutes to go two blocks. It was totally like gridlocked. Yeah, it was crazy. Anyway, I finally made it. I'm here at the mall. I'm gonna go straight to Prada, but I think I wanna stop by Chanel. Mamie Hermes and Dior. Maybe Louis Vuitton too. Okay, <laughs> we'll see what happens.
table because I had to um, roast up these sweet potatoes, which take a while, just about 20 minutes, um, but you know, a little bit longer than just throwing a meal together. So I woke up at about 4.30. I usually wake up at five, but I woke up at 4.30 and I thought, oh, let me take the time to vlog and everything. So um, these are Japanese sweet potatoes. That's why they're purple. They're so good. They're a little bit um, less mealy than like straight up sweet, sweet potatoes. They're like kind of creamier, really delicious. So I had bought a big bag of sweet potatoes to make for my breakfast. And as you guys know, I'm not like the biggest sweet person and I'm already doing like blueberries in the morning. It was just too much. So I thought I would try these. I remember you know, like when I'd had these in the past that they weren't quite as sweet, and I was right. They're not quite as sweet. But anyway, this is my trainer <laughs> nutritional breakfast, which is the biggest meal of the day. And he always checks before I work out with him. He always checks, did you have breakfast? <laughs> it's apparently a very big deal, so I'm like, okay, I have to make sure never to skip breakfast. So I don't. I'm not usually used to waking up and just eating. I used to when I was younger. When I was younger and I was running a lot, oh my God, I would wake up because my stomach was growling. I'd be like, oh my God, I have to get up and eat something. I'd get up and like, you know, eat whatever. And just falling off. I guess the less active, the older I've gotten. I kind of wake up, I just sort of sip my coffee a little bit. You know, I like uh, microwave my eggs or whatever. But I'm getting a little bit more used to it. I mean, it's been a couple of weeks. But by the end of this meal, again, because it's the biggest one of the day, I just feel like sometimes I'm just like choking down my food, but hopefully I'll get used to it soon. So I have to show you what I got yesterday at Prada and Louis Vuitton. Just a couple, just a couple of things. I actually went into Prada and I wanted to see like, you know, some of the fall stuff is coming in. And so my saleswoman there, she, Put some things aside for me and you know I met my friend Marie there we were talking um, Marie's friend Jason works there so Jason came down I think he's like the like the head of the salespeople like a senior salesperson and um, or he could be the manager of the store anyway he's like high up at the at the product store here at Crystal's so he came out, we started talking. He's thinking about signing up with this trainer that Marie has referred me. And she's obviously, you know, people are asking her like, wow, what are you doing? You know, cause she looks great. And so we were talking about it. And then, you know, I was looking at all this clothing and Jason and I were discussing everything. And I was like, you know, I may, I'm like, I don't like shopping this way. It's like, I've learned my lesson. I don't want to buy smaller clothing in hopes that I'm going to somehow lose weight because also it's all about fit too. So um, she had set aside all this clothing and I was like, you know, I'm going to hold off on buying any clothes because I'm like, I'm doing this thing and I don't know. I mean, nothing may happen, but if I do end up losing some weight or uh, just my body shape changes, uh, the composition changes or whatever, I'm like, I don't really want to try anything on now. So I felt bad that she pulled all this stuff, but she didn't. She didn't seem to mind. Um, of course, I mean, she's gracious. After uh, Prada and Louis Vuitton yesterday, we went into Chanel because I noticed they had a lot of the fall colors in. And I just love the Chanel fall palette. It's very, very autumnal, very autumnal. And I feel like Chanel kind of just marches to the beat of their own drummer, right? They're not very like in on like the rest of the trends going on. They're just trying to do their thing. They have a look, they have certain like uh, key elements to their pieces, you know, the um, leather chains and the camellia, you know what I mean? So they're like not very trendy, but I felt like the color story for the season was very, very like on point. And so I saw some of the bags in the windows, some of the bags that I had been eyeing when I was in London, cause Harrods has this huge Chanel section. And one of the bags I was eyeing at Harrods, I saw at the Chanel boutique. So we went in I was hemming and hawing. It's a boy bag. If I can find a picture of it, I'll, sh I'll flash it up here, but it's basically like a caramel brown color. The leather is like a caviar and the hardware is not the yellow gold. It's like that champagne gold. So 
in some lights it looks silver, in some lights it looks gold, which I really like. It makes it very, very versatile. But there's something about that caramel brown that I feel like you really should use like a warm gold hardware to it. But anyway, yeah, I tried it on again and I just, I don't know, I just couldn't decide. It was the smaller size too. I felt like the medium boy bag, as soon as immediately, it just looks like a bag that you just wouldn't be able to carry like out to dinner or something. It's just a little bit too big because I think the boy bag is so boxy. Um, it's thick, um, but the smaller size, I felt like, oh, okay, I could still wear this like with a dress. Um, I could double up the straps and wear it as a shoulder bag. I could, you know, single up the strap and wear it as a crossbody. So um, I just felt like the small size was the most versatile. So I was trying that on, but I just, yeah, I couldn't decide. There was a bucket hat that I really loved. I just couldn't decide uh, on Chanel. It's just, you know, I walk in and there's so many things. It was like, oh, I liked, these shoes and then this brooch and then this belt and then these gloves. Like there's just so many things at Chanel that just always catch my eye and I think I get overwhelmed. So anyway, maybe when I come back from New York, I'll stop back into Chanel. Speaking of which, I'm leaving for New York tomorrow. I have to pack today. I have so much stuff to do today. I have to finish editing a bunch of things. I have to finish packing. I probably have to do a load of laundry. And then my friends just, um, my friends that I'm gonna be staying with, they texted me yesterday. They're so thoughtful. They're like, it looks like we're going to be doing like two, like fairly fancy meals out. So they're like, just bring an outfit accordingly. And I was like, okay. And then I checked the weather and it's only going to be like high in the low mid seventies. I mean, much more humid. We're on the lake or whatever. But I was like, that means it's basically just going to be like in the sixties. I am so excited. I'm like, I, I'm going to pack like sweatshirts a couple sweaters. <laughs> so, so excited. And then I thought, oh, I would just like throw a dress in there, but no, I think it's too cool to wear a dress. I'm gonna bring like a pair of pants and a, and a blouse or something for the dinners. But I'm so excited. I'm gonna bring like uh, my um, Christian Dior like raincoat. I'll probably bring my Montclair raincoat. I am s like so excited for this weather. I can't even tell you. You know, it's still very, very warm here in Vegas, of course, but it's also been very humid. So it's very warm and very humid here in Vegas, which is what happens in August, which is why it's so miserable here in August. July, it's much hotter because it's not as humid. But once like the moisture starts to come in, it cools it down a little bit, but no, it's not cool at all. It's still like a hundred degrees. <laughs> so it's just awful outside, awful. So I'm excited. Hey guys, I, I think, did I, did I vlog since I got back from the gym? I don't think so. Anyway, I planned on just working out, coming home, showering, have like, having like a busy day. Uh, it's been really busy and I just, I sat down to start doing some work and it just snowballed and snowballed and snowballed. So I am still sitting here unshowered from working out. Disgusting. I'm so glad this is not a scratch and sniff situation. Um, and it's like one o'clock in the afternoon. So I've already eaten lunch. I had to run some errands. I was like, let me do this before like, you know, the day gets away from me. So I went to UPS and then I of course picked up some packages and this happens to be like one of the most amazing PR hauls ever. So I had to share with you right away. Uh, Violette, Violette France or French. I'm not sure what the FR stands for. Let me see if it says anywhere else. I think it's just Violette FR. I know that she is a very, very uh, well-known makeup artist. So they reached out to me and they were like, would you like to receive our products? I was like, yes, absolutely. So they sent over some of their matte cream blushes. Let me open these up. This is a sticky, sticky box. This whole thing is sticky. Ooh, this is what the packaging looks like. And there is, I believe this is like, the logo for the brand, but it's like this very sort of cubist, modern etching of a face. Isn't that cool? Ooh, some of these are marbled. How cool. All right, so these are the Bisou blush, and let me just show them to you. Oh, they're all marbled. I didn't notice it in the first one. So this is the first one that I swatched, and the shade is, oh my gosh, my eyes. It is Inez. The second one is Louise. This is probably the most neutral. And then finally we have, no, I don't think there's an eye. 
I, I, Aesa? Aesa? So this is like a deep, like, cherry color. So here they are swatched from first to last. They're so pretty. Yeah, and they're matte, but they're really balmy. Oh my God, amazing. Thank you so much to Violette FR. Love it. Oh my gosh, where do I start? Let me, let me show you this. La Prunier is a new brand that Credo is carrying. So this is their plum screen. This is SPF 31, and it is um, mineral sunscreen. And then they also sent over the plum beauty oil. And then they also sent over the plum body hydrating antioxidant body cream. Let's just open one of these up. The packaging looks like beautiful. This is very, very heavy. Yeah, I think this is glass. Lovely. Thank you so much to Le Prunier and Credo. It's beautiful. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, this is so exciting. So You Beauty's Plasma Lip Compound. They came out with like three or four tinted shades because the original is just like a, it's just like a lip mask. They've come out with even more shades. So exciting. These are a little brighter, a little deeper. So here are the four shades. So we have Lady. Lady Flush Bellini and Sunset. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to try these on for you. I would swatch them, but I don't think it makes much sense. Like you won't get a sense of the tint until I actually put it on my lips. So big thank you to you, Beauty. I love this lip compound. Um, I think Fawn, is that the shade? Um, that's one of the very few um, like makeup products I brought over to Europe because it was kind of like a skincare product disguised as a makeup product, so I brought it over. Anyway, um, Clay de Poe, you guys, they sent over six of their new eyeshadow quads. Oh, I'm so, so excited. So number four, let's take a look. Here is the beautiful packaging. Little button at the bottom there. Oh, wow. And these, I believe, are refillable. Yeah, these like snap out. These are refillable. And when I met with Benjamin Pucky, who is the color director, or yeah, I think he's the color director, I think that's his title, for Clay de Poe, um, he was explaining to me the formula. He's like, you wouldn't believe how these eyeshadows are created. He's like, it looks like, like dough. They mix it up and it's this big kind of like thick, creamy mass, and then they press it into these pans and then they're baked. I believe they're baked or set down somehow. Isn't that really, really neat? So anyway, they do have this really like rich, creamy sort of formula and feeling to them. So let me just do like a swatch from each quad. It's so smooth, so, so smooth. So that is number four. Here is number three. Of course I have to swatch this taupey shade. God, so smooth. Oof. Ooh, gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of bummed that this is all coming in the day before I'm leaving for New York, but maybe I can squeeze in some filming. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, here is number seven. So pretty. So, so pretty. I love this little pink up there. Let me swatch that one. It's a soft, soft pinky peach. Ooh, beautiful. Oh my God, these are so... Gorgeous. Okay, number eight. Here is number eight. Wow. I'm gonna swatch this deep shade down here. Ooh, so pretty. Has like a little bit of red in there. Oh, that's gorgeous. Gosh, it's like they get better as I keep opening up these boxes. Okay, number 10. Oh, this is like the green one that I've been seeing, sort of drooling over. I really like this shade, but let me swatch this like lime green. So my pinky never does a great swatch job, but there's that lime green. Oh, nice. I want to say it's like swatch is a little bit more wearable than it looks in the pan. You know, like the brown kind of comes out a little bit more. Beautiful. Okay, last but not least. Number 12. Here is number 12. So pretty. We have another kind of taupey shade. I'm going to resist. I'm going to go for that lilac. 
Oh my God, stunning. Wow, I love this <laughs> that I created. I feel like this would make a great like six pan eyeshadow palette. That is from Clay de Poe. A huge, huge thank you to Clay de Poe. That is like so incredible. I can't wait. I cannot wait to dig in. Look at gorgeous. Oh my gosh, so smooth. So, so smooth. Okay, just two more packages. You guys know how much I love Suku. And got a nice box here, I believe. Yes, they sent me the uh, V foundation. Oh, and a little, looks like a little sample. Cause you know, hard to match. Um, but they sent over, let's see, shade 110. And it's, called, it's just called The Foundation. It's in a jar. This is what it looks like. So there's 110. That actually could be a really good match for me. That's 110. And then they also sent over, oh. Oh, awesome. I thought it was just another shade of the foundation. Okay, so they sent over 110 and then they sent over 115 in this little guy. It's like covered, I'm not gonna open this up. I just feel like I'm gonna make a mess and waste that little bit. Um, but they also sent over the 20th anniversary Eye and Blush Compact. 20 years, wow, congratulations, Suku. And this is in the shade 102. Look at this compact. So pretty, it's like a champagne gold. Oh, this is so lovely. This is uh, colorway 102. They have a different one, which I think was a little bit warmer. Um, but I opted for this one. And then this is the face compact. So the face compact, if I remember correctly, is like um, like a powder, like a face powder. And I just ended up getting 101, which I think is like a translucent, yeah. Oh, wow, look at that embossing. It's not just embossing, it actually could be, it's like gold. I don't know if that's just overspray or if it's actually like this gold that's like drizzled on top because that's what it looks like. Um, but they have this uh, face compact with like a purple tint. There may be one with like a green tint. Definitely one with like a purple tint. I think there's one with like a pink tint to it. I just wanted something that was kind of uh, more universal. So I picked this one, but a huge, huge thank you to Suku for sending this stuff over. It's, their stuff is so impeccable and so beautiful. Big, big thank you. And then, last but not least, I got this incredible package from Augustinus Batter, the face cream mask. I may put this on tonight in preparation for my flight tomorrow. Um, the cream cleansing gel, the essence, which I think is kind of like a toner, maybe like a toner serum, and then eye patches. Oh my God, I'm so, so excited for these eye patches. Um, so that's it, that is my PR haul. And, oh, a big thank you to Augustinus Batter for sending those beautiful products over. I'm so excited. This was such an incredible like PR day. I feel so fortunate. So anyway, big thank you to everyone. And I need to shower. I just, I can't even stand to be around myself any longer. So I need to shower, actually I need to finish I need to finish editing a video and then I'm gonna shower and then I'm gonna show you <laughs> what I got at Prada and Louis Vuitton. Oh my God, I finally showered. So I hope you don't mind I'm doing this haul just with wet hair, freshly moisturized face. I'm like, I just have to haul this stuff for you guys. So, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with the Louis Vuitton product. Uh, very small little situation, but I went in there with my friend Marie. She had spied something in there that she wanted to get knew exactly what she wanted. So we walked in and made a beeline for it and it was a perfume. And of course, oh wait, they gave me Dancing Blossom. They gave me um, a sample of the one that she got because it was very nice. So she picked up Dancing Blossom. And then while I was there, I remembered I had liked one, you know, from a previous visit. And so I picked it up. It is called Lemensite. <laughs> <laughs> um, More French Lessons by Michelle. Uh, L'immensité. I'm going to go with that. You guys, this smells kind of like Coca-Cola. And you know how much I love that. So I'm trying to figure out how to open this box. 
And this, I believe, is um, categorized as a men's um, eau de parfum. So it's an EDP. It does come in this tube with the LV top. Very lovely. And they actually had, not at my store, they couldn't find it, but they had a Kusama limited edition bottle of this. Uh, one with pumpkins and then one with the gray dots. And I really wanted it and I just was like, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine, I'll just get the plain original bottle, which is actually very, very like clean and chic looking. Um, and then this is magnetized and there is an LV at the top there. This is my very first Vuitton uh, fragrance. And yeah, the Coca-Cola note, whatever it is, is a bit lighter in this than let's say that boy's fragrance from Killian that I love that was discontinued. But it's definitely there. And this one, it like changes a little bit too. It's really, really beautiful. There's like a little bit of leather in there. It's gorgeous. I actually have to read up on the notes, but this is such a winner. And if you tend to like the same you know, fragrances that I do, I think you're really, really gonna like this. So check this out. I'll try and link it down below. I don't know if LV fragrances are sold anywhere but in their store. Um, so anyway, I will try and link it down below if I can find it online. Let me show you what I got at Prada. I picked up a pair of runway shoes and I think I was telling you when I came back, uh, came home after shopping, you know, I was kind of prepared to look at a bunch of like ready to wear, but I'm working out with this new trainer and I thought, well, you know, if I do lose some weight, if my body changes a little bit, like I don't want to buy any clothing now. So I'm going to hold off on that. And so I was kind of focusing on handbags and shoes. And of course the two handbags, I look, right, just the authenticity card. Um, the two handbags that I liked were so different that it was like, I couldn't figure it out. One was like a little like evening clutch and then one was like a really casual, like oversized hobo. And I just, I couldn't decide. Anyway, I ended up getting these shoes. There's like so many cards in here. Here are the dust bags. So these shoes, they are part of like the runway collection for fall. Uh, 2023 and they were actually on the mannequin <laughs> they had to take it off the mannequin for me because there's only like you know very limited production on runway pieces and um yeah they pretty much had like sold out of their size run except for these and these aren't even my usual size so usually i take in prada i usually take like a 38 and a half sometimes a 39 but these are a 38 and i wouldn't say that they run large it's just heels are heels are different for me they're, they're it's a special situation because i have a very wide uh foot my heel is really skinny so if a shoe fits in the front very often it'll look like it's big in the back like it'll slip and slide or whatever and these actually didn't do that and the longer i had them on like the comfier it got not that this leather is soft at all but let me take out all this stuffing here oh my god i love these so much they're so cool look at these shoes can you see they, oh wow, as I hold them up, it kind of looks like Darth Vader. Ooh, even cooler. Okay, so, oh, it's so hard with black. There's flowers, <laughs> cut out flowers in here. And it's just a low little kitten heel. And it's just a play on like the Prada triangle. But this is what it looks like in the front. So cool. And there's a pair of like nude colored kitten heels, but sling back with just this very geometric, it just looks like origami, like this bow. And very tempted to get those as well because the color is, it's like similar to my skin tone, but like a little bit, um, a little bit pinkier. So it looks very pretty. Like the, um, Gabby, my, uh, salesperson there, she was like, oh, it makes your, like elongates your leg. And I was like, oh, <laughs> it's like, does it? Um, uh, but anyway, I, it was just a very pretty color and, you know, anytime I can get a low heel, I'm getting the low heel. So I... I just love these. I wish you guys could see them more. Actually, let me put them on and maybe overhead you can see them a little bit better because it's also, it's also like asymmetric. Like the flowers look like they're cascading down. Oh, so cool. And this is made in their Spazzolato leather. So it's 
very, wait, did I pronounce that? Spazzolato, Spazzolato. Um, it's very, it's polished, it's waxed, it's very, very hard. Um, and so <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna expect this to stretch at all because I have Prada shoes from years ago in the same kind of leather and they don't, they don't really stretch. They don't really give like a little bit um, and you can wear them in, but yeah, you definitely have to get a size that like fits you. Otherwise, you're just not gonna wear them. They're gonna be torture to wear. Let me see. Hopefully you get a better view of them. But they're so pretty. And when you're walking, the flowers will move just a little bit. Just because they're not that stiff. And they're on like really thin leather cording. So just really cool. Of course, very Prada. Very, very Prada. Super unique. And I just love the fact that they're kitten heels. Don't they look great with my jean sweatpants? <laughs> So that is my shopping haul from yesterday, perfume and a pair of shoes. So I am going to end this vlog here. I have to pack, I have to pack for this trip tomorrow. I think I have finally decided that I am going to completely take, as much as I can, completely take this time off that I'm spending in New York at my friend's lake house. So by the time you see this, I may actually be back <laughs> from the trip or close to being back. I'm not sure when this is gonna go up, but I am, you know, pre-filming and everything. So you may not uh, miss too much of my content, but I don't think I'm gonna be producing too much while I'm there. So anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for tuning in.